you think? And it just stacks up and stacks up. I said I'd go to your calls, and I got this message of the New World Order. I, 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 I mean, I guess the whole show is a message to the people running this and to those of you that are victims. Will you save yourselves? Will you do anything? Is there anything you're concerned about? I mean, they know it's a death sentence to all the troops they have used DU munitions. They know it's a death sentence to give you these vaccines. They know it's a death sentence when they ship out the tons of opium into the United States. The U.S. military brings it directly in now. They just put it on the news like it's no big deal. You understand that we are... We've killed 52 million American babies, and we just say, oh, that's just a choice. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't judge people that had an abortion. No, a lot of people did it through ignorance, just like an Aztec bringing their kid up to be chopped up, you know, thought it was okay to do. But see, it's this peer pressure. You can't just do something because the world and the entity that runs it tells you it's good, tells you it's okay. That's why I saw someone while I was waiting at a restaurant to pick up food Sunday Pick up our free magazine. There was a couple copies left there. Very excited. It all got picked up in just a few days. There's almost none left around town. And they uh, picked it up and went, ooh, Alex Jones, oh, ooh, uh, ooh, no, and dropped it like it was a, a snake. And you know what? It is like a big rattlesnake. To somebody that wants to be destroyed, they see, they see the cure as venom. They don't want to be, I mean, it's kind of like in that movie, to use an analogy, the Omega Man, which is a redo of the uh, last man on earth with uh, Vincent Price. Great movie. And they've released a bioweapon that kills most people, but turns others into these basically undead zombies. And uh, at the end, he's like, I found the cure. I've given it to myself. Here's my blood. You know, I'll cure you. And they said no. And they throw a spear into him and kill him. And they don't want, they want to die of cancer. I mean, my dad was talking about a 36-year-old office manager, because my dad manages a bunch of dental offices who's, you know, attractive, smart. She had brain surgery, trying to get the tumor out. Uh, the same tumor killed one of my dad's friends when he was young. Uh, and another woman at their office has a brain tumor. And I mean, I've gone, look, look, they talk about statistics where they've gotten better at making you survive a cancer, yeah, but they're not discussing the fact that cancers are up, depending on the type, some of them over 10,000 times. I mean, they are killing us, and it's all just this normalcy bias of, oh, they're having a run for cancer. In fact, I've got a copy of, uh, it's very offensive, you know, when you see Time Magazine, and it's got ads all through it because that's the new thing. You know, everywhere I go, I see these jugs of money at the gas station. Give money to this, you know, forty-year-old mother. She's got ovarian cancer or she's got breast cancer, and I, I put money in it. But the, no one will even tell them there's charity care that only the illegal aliens get. The, no one will tell the woman, "Hey, go get." I had people in the office didn't believe me, and I sent them to get. You know, the, the, they're supposed to pay for it. Well, the hospitals are charities; they're tax-free, most of them. And I see an ad in here. Stand up, tune in, the fight against cancer continues. And it's all these people about in memory of or, oh, we're survivors. And it's just so sexy about cancer and we're all going to deal with it together. This is to lead you into the pit so you can be killed. It's all about, oh, let's learn how to cure it instead of find out why everybody's getting it. And I'm not saying these stars are bad, but you'll never see anything about why is it increasing. They want to keep that quiet. Let me tell you why. I've had the scientists in here, the researchers, because my dad remembers when he was at UT, they talked about how cancer was viral and had been discovered in the 30s. They put it in your shots. That's my message. This thing's killing everybody. We're run by eugenics psychopaths. And we better turn it around. And they're putting a police state in place to forcibly inject us. And they're already doing it illegally with school kids. The government is already lawless, okay? And it wants to kill you. I mean, that's the message. It wants you dead. All right, we'll take a few calls here for the next little segment or two. I meant to get to this yesterday and today. I just can't do justice to it. I'll have to do it on the Nightly News Center tomorrow on the radio. Scientists successfully hacked brain to obtain private data. Cyborg tissue is half living cells, half electrons. 
And again, this is all going to be used against us. All this technology is having backdoors built into it, the globalists admit. Nothing is given to us that's any good. Anything they give us is going to have microwaves coming out of it to kill us or to be tracking us. It, it's all done to enslave us. So horrible. Uh, let's go to Charles in Louisiana. You're getting ready to get hit by another hurricane, my friend. Uh, you, do you think they're going to come for your guns again? News for you. Two days. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been on the phone two days. But anyway, they, they said that they're not going to use the Dome Stadium as a FEMA camp this time. Uh, they, they're going to bring you someplace else. They already got military on the street. They're already talking about salt water is going to be in the water. This thing here, they're so happy this happened, Alex. They are, they are thrilled to death that this happened. Well, they love the, the excuse to take over. Well, yeah. Well, they're saying the levees, uh, they didn't fix all the pumps like they told us to. $5 million is missing. We gave them $15 million to pick the water No, pump. no, they only used, uh, what, 60% of the money for levees. But, hey, you know what? Government needs to steal it. They're good people. The levees probably ain't going to hold it go underneath from the news here, but they, they let them know they're going to bring them someplace else. They ain't bringing them to the Dome Stadium where they can see the women get raped. No, no, no. Where are they bringing them to be raped this time while the military is busy confiscating all the guns and the police wouldn't help anybody inside the Dome Stadium and just sat there laughing uh, or were busy robbing the different stores? Uh, where are they uh, going to take the slaves this time that they shoot if they try to walk out on the highways? They won't tell us. Oh, that's even better. That's a big news item. You know, Charles, you reported for us then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get your number. I had it years ago, but I want to, I want to get a report from you. Get you on the phone with Kurt Nemo or uh, Adon Salazar, so uh, you can uh, tell them what's going on as our reporter and full name and all that. Because I can, I mean, you were the first to tell us they'd been shooting people trying to walk out on the bridges because you were there when it was happening as one of the emergency people. You're saying FEMA says we're gonna take you somewhere secret. That sounds good. They didn't say FEMA. They said to, uh, the governor of uh, New Orleans said they ain't going to use the Dome Stadium no more. They're going to go somewhere. They're going to find some other place. He got on the news and said this. Well, listen, I'm going to put you on hold. I had it years ago, but I'm going to get your you know uh, number, uh, full name and number, so we can have one of my reporters call you, uh, or maybe I should get an update from you. I'm going to get your number. I'm going to do an update with you on the nightly news tonight. How's that sound? Well, yeah, if you want, uh, what time is that? Uh, Nine o'clock will be here. Uh, well, listen, we'll uh, tape it. We'll tape it and then air it when the show comes up tonight. Well, if I'm going to be down, I'm going to probably be down there. I don't know if I'm going to be home. It depends what's happening. It's raining up there right well, now. Listen we'll, like listen, we'll go tape this in like 20 minutes. How's that sound? Huh? We'll go tape this in like 20 minutes, Charles. Okay, uh, you got my number, sir. So, uh, well, I had, it, I had it years ago, but just listen. You've been a great reporter for us, and I forget your last name. I, I know you've been in the news and stuff down there. Just do me a favor. I know you've been calling in for like 14 years, and I apologize for getting your last name. I'm going to put you on hold, give me your full name and number, and I'm going to have them call you in about 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and, and we'll go tape an interview. We can really lay it all out for everybody about what's happening, okay? No, I haven't been down there yet. If I go, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to go. Because, no, uh, I know, but I mean, you, you, but, you're, but you've always been a good source of info. You're saying they're, uh, that they're saying they're going to take people to an undisclosed location. I'd like to get an update from you on that. I don't know. That's all I got. The mayor said this on Channel 2 News. Yeah, well, well, you were a witness to the crime last time, so I'd like to interview you about what it's like seeing Katrina come. Okay, can we do it in 20 minutes? Yeah, you can, yeah. All right, well, we're going to put you on hold, get your full name and number. Come back, take a few more calls right now, then I'm going to interview him. Stay with us. We should pray for everyone in New Orleans and surrounding areas with the hurricane coming. And not so much for the hurricane, but the military and police will be, if it's bad, will be robbing everything and taking guns and raping women and killing people who try to walk out with their families. So get ready for government to absolutely have a heyday with you because uh, they're so ready to attack you. The military will try to save people, most of them, but the... Uh, the uh, special brand of police they have there in New Orleans will certainly be enjoying themselves. The military will be getting the guns. That's how they help you. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, callers that have been holding. Judy in Florida, then Daniel and Kathy. Judy, welcome to the airwaves. What's your take on all the happy news we've been covering? Well, Alex, um, thanks for talking with me. Um, I, I've been thinking a lot about what you and Alfred Odesk were talking about over the weekend. I mean, just because... I was having such a lovely time with normal, healthy people. And, you know, and I was thinking about the fact we are human beings. And that's something that I, I don't think people, you know, 
think on a conscious level that that's what they are and that they they really are being manipulated and, and, and being just uh, broken as far as, you know, what, what the globalists are trying to, you know, to do to us. And the Stockholm Syndrome that they, they seem to be locked in, um, I, I don't know how you break through having people, you know, I don't, I don't know why they trust government still. I don't know why. Well, look, victims, I mean, I mean, these people take shots and get sick right after it. Their kid has a convulsion at, at the doctor uh, five minutes after the shot, and then they never figure out it was the shot. I mean, they want to be destroyed. And the globalists argue that's survival of the fittest, social Darwinism, that if you can't figure it out, they deserve to kill you. Uh, and so they, they just love it. It's too scary to admit that there's criminals over them, so they will do anything because they're delusional. And they're just sad victims in a trance, and we've got to pray for them and try to help them. But even those I know that have tried to speak up to doctors, because I've had a couple of friends, one particularly of which went to the you know doctor, she got a flu shot. She was debilitated within hours. It, her arm was swelling. It was she could not move her arm. I mean, you know, and this happened to another person also, and and she, you know, completely changed as far as her ability to move around after that. The doctor. No, but she likes that though. That's the fun part. I mean, it was like a. It's a little. People get excited. Like I'm going to the doctor, and it's like a little treat, and they get sick and die. It's like, oh, my husband went in for minor surgery. He's dead. And but but it's, it's oh, it's cute though. You understand? It's a sacrament. It's, it's a sacrifice to have government hurt them. They like it. I appreciate your call. And so government's going to give them what they beg for. Kathy in New Orleans, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, how are you, Alex? Good. Tell us um, what's happening there. Okay, well, let me just say this. Yesterday I was in Tampa for the Republican National Convention where all of our duly, almost all of our duly elected delegates were disenfranchised. So we got our group, drove back to New Orleans to bunker down for the storm. It, um, it hasn't hit yet. We're waiting to see what's going on. Uh, we are very familiar with the police state. We actually did our whole uh, info reporter um, contest on that. Uh, however, it was never shown. But anyway, um, I just want to say we went to uh, see Dr. Paul's last speech, and it was fabulous. They had over 10,000 people in the audience. Um, it's really, really sad what's going down there. People have stayed, even with their houses in danger and they're just not listening to them. But I do want to say some good news. Um, you know, we have a radio talk show in New Orleans, and uh, we've always uh, uh, listened to you. And uh, Gary King, who's one of the delegates that was uh, disenfranchised, he is running for a congressional race in two months against a very popular incumbent who has voted against everything that uh, Ron Paul stands for. Well, we're out of time. So you got to send me some info on that. I got to jump, but stay in touch as the hurricane hits and uh, look out for government coming to take your guns and your property and uh, to rob the Walmarts and everything else, But and to shoot everybody in New York. But citizens, when they take on criminals, don't ever shoot anybody that I've been seeing lately. Citizens, total precision shooting crooks. Police, shoot nine people. Doesn't matter, they're the police. Take vaccines, drink fluoride water, GMO, mass cancer deaths. Thank you for the blessings, government. Thank you, oh, you love us. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I love the world government. I love them. I trust them. I trust Big Pharma. Oh, they're so loving. Oh, they're so good.